How can dietary fibers help reduce the risk of developing dementia? What foods contain the most fibers? Who may need fiber supplements in their diet? Welcome to Dr. Yang's Health Talk. Health is our greatest asset. Let's take good care of it together. First of all, let's look at what are fibers in food. Dietary fibers comes from plant-based food such as legumes, whole grain, cereals, vegetables, fruits, and nuts and seeds. Because our digestive enzymes do not entirely break it down, it is present in our intestines. So what role does dietary fiber play in our intestines? First, it helps with stool formation and the bowel movement's regularity. Balking fibers such as cellulose and hemicellulose, including psyllium, absorb and retain water in the intestine, promoting stool regularity. Viscous fibers such as beta-glucan and psyllium help with stool formation. Insoluble fibers such as wheat bran, cellulose, and lignin triggers mucus secretion from the large intestine and provide bulk. The second is to maintain the nutrients and balance of intestinal bacteria and microbiota. Fermentable fibers such as resistant starch, zangom, and inulin feed the colon's bacteria and the microbiome and produce short-chain fatty acids through metabolism, which have multiple effects on gastrointestinal health. Some insoluble fibers, such as resistant starch, can be fermented in the colon. Soluble fibers, such as beta-glucan in oats, barley, or mushrooms, can also be fermented into gas and physiologically active byproducts, such as short-chain fatty acids produced by intestinal bacteria in the colon. What are these short-chain fatty acids, and what do they do for our health? We will discuss that in our future videos. Please subscribe to the channel and click on the little bell so you don't miss our videos. Third, dietary fibers regulate absorption of fats, hypocarbohydrates, and the protein in food. Regular intake of soluble fibers such as beta-glucan from oats or barley has been shown to lower blood LDL cholesterol which is a risk factor for cardiovascular disease. So fiber are good for our hearts and gastrointestinal tract, and they are also beneficial for our brain. A recent research article in the Journal of Nutritional Neuroscience suggests that a high-fiber diet may help reduce the risk of Alzheimer's disease in people who do not have a stroke. How did they know? A Japanese study of 3,739 adults followed for nearly 20 years found that the group that ate more fiber had a lower risk of developing dementia. Why is that? Experts theorize that dietary fiber regulates the composition of intestinal bacteria. This composition may affect the neuroinflammation, which plays a role in the development of dementia. An animal study in 2018 has found that if we feed mice a diet containing bitteric acid, a short-chain fatty acid produced in the gut by the fibers, this will significantly reduce inflammation in their gut and the brain. Which dietary fiber is most effective in preventing dementia? The Japanese study found that soluble fiber is the primary fiber that reduced risk of dementia. So what is the soluble fiber? Soluble fiber, including plant, pectin, and gum, dissolves when it comes into contact with digestive fluid, forming a gel-like substance. What foods are rich in soluble fibers? Generally speaking, beans, peas, and oat products contain the most soluble fibers. For example, Three-fourths cup of black beans contains 5.4.0 gram fiber. Nuts contain 3.5 grams, 
oats milk contains 1.4 gram, avocado contains 2.1 gram, orange contains 1.8 gram per serving. Sweet potatoes, asparagus, radish, broccoli, arachides, and lectins are also rich in soluble fibers. Like insoluble fibers, soluble fibers also increase stool bulk and aids in bowel movements. But its unique structure has more far-reaching health benefits. This includes benefits for heart health, weight maintenance, blood sugar control, and intestinal health, which reduce the risks for the development of dementia as well. In many countries today, such as United States, many people consume less fiber than nutritionists recommend. By encouraging eating food high in dietary fiber, it may be possible to reduce the incidence of dementia. Some people want to take dietary fiber supplements. It is fine, but there are two issues. Why is that supplements do not contain the other nutrients? That high dietary fiber foods contain only dietary fiber. The other is that dietary fiber supplements can interfere with the absorption of some medications. It would be better if you talk to your doctor about whether dietary fiber supplements are appropriate for you, or how to adjust the dosage of your medication if you have to take it. These medications include tricyclic antidepressants. Anti-heart failure medications, lithium carbonates for bipolar disorder, anti-inflammatory antibiotics, thyroid medicine, anti-convulsants, statins for lipid lowering, and diabetes medications. If you have to take supplement fiber, you should take your medication at least two hours after taking the fiber supplements. There is no set recommendation on how much you should take. But taking more than 50 gram a day may cause side effects such as abdominal pain, bloating, and diarrhea. Thank you for watching Dr. Yang's Health Talk. You're welcome to share your opinions and experience in the comment section. If you find it helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.